Hello guys. Welcome to Constorm. So today we want to do a very simple task or now uh, we can access this GDB uh, within uh, QGIS. So maybe you have a uh, database that you created in uh, uh, ArcGIS environment or uh, GI ArcGIS software but you want to access this in QGIS. So that's what you're going to do today. So you can see in my GDB I have some river, road, schools and transport. So these are the four data sets that you're going to access that are in this uh, GDB within our QGIS. So that said, let's go to our QGIS. So on the interface, you can come, uh, you can see it's an empty interface. So I can just close the processing toolbox. I can come to layer, add layer, I'll add vector layer. So what I'll do, you see, normally it's, uh, by default, it's checked file. But in this case, I'm going to change to direct the directory. And uh, this way, I can now set the path of my directory. So uh, for me, it's in uh, under this uh, folder. And it's this is the GDB, you can see. So once you change it from file to directory, you can be able to access the GDB. So I will select this. And I will just uh, uh, click on add. And you can see now, it has uh, brought all the features that are within this geodatabase but i'm only inter interested in the in the rivers uh the road school and transport so those are the four features that i'm interested in and i'm going to add layer then i can close this window now you can see uh we have successfully accessed and uh, read the data from the s3 geodatabase in the qgis window so guys, try it, try it out and uh, uh, let it not be a limitation of you accessing your data that you have already saved in the database. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, please like this video, support us by subscribing to the channel and uh, thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.